Hello again, old worldians. Velocerix back with you. <clears throat> We're going to do another continuation, taking them in alphabetical order. This time we are going to continue with our Carthage game, where we left off with the first 50 turns. And this one we weren't. We didn't have quite as strong of a beginning as we did on some of the others. So this one we're going to have to struggle a little bit to find our footing in, uh, in the next segment that we're going to do here. I believe we were on the eve of war with the Romans, as I recall. Maybe, maybe not. I don't. Uh, no, no, doesn't look like I'm, look like, looks like I'm misremembering. So let's do a quick survey and see, all right, we, we have founded Zoroastrianism. Uh, we have peace with Egypt. We're not on great relation. We're not on great terms with anybody. Uh, least of all, Rome. Rome very far away. We're not going to worry about that. We haven't actually met the Greeks, although they are not too far away. We in first place. We have one city site under guard. We don't have a lot of money. We're currently at war with the Numidians. And Egypt has blocked off our expansion to the south. We've only got seven cities in this game. Cadmus, the commander, is leading so look like we lost Dito early he's married he got a kid kid is six years old can we okay we don't have a scholar on the court so we can't tutor the kid Uh, let's see. Syria is weaker. Egypt is stronger, but reasonably happy with us. Rome, not happy with us, stronger. We're going to be getting lumber mills next turn. That's handy. I see we have a spearman on the way up. So we can deal with some of these new Midians. Look like our scout took a bit of a beating. That's the edge of the map, by the way. So we kind of know where we are geographically uh, we got what seven I think I said seven cities okay so a city you got four Egypt got five Rome got six so we actually doing all right in terms of expansion as far as our speed relative to everybody else's speed.
We got roads, so we must have labor force. We got one city that is not connected to the trade network. And we're not currently building any settlers. So first thing we need to do is get a settler. We need two, actually. Uh, Carthage blows for growth. Uh, who we got is good for growth. Gadir and Utica and Home Slice. All right, Gadir, what are you what are you currently working on? Nothing. Well, now you're working on a settler. What about Home Slice? What are you working on, Slinger? And then you're gonna be working on a settler too. And actually, Gadir gonna work on two settlers back to back. Because we're going to need, we got one on the guard, and we're going to capture this one for sure, and this one a little bit later. So we might as well plan on that and just go ahead and get our settlers cooking. Carthage, what is Carthage going to do? What can they do for us? They can build troops fairly quickly, and we're going to need spearmen because we're fighting the Numidians. So we're going to do that. All right, I believe that gets our cities. Yes, all cities are doing shit. That's what we like to see. Um, let us take care of our troops. We'll go ahead and promote any troops that we are able to promote. Very good. Now, I don't know that we should be in a great rush to launch an attack, but I do at least want to get our forces into position. Egypt is the only country that we have a direct border with. So why don't we do a trade mission with the Egyptians and make sure that they are going to play nice with us. Ah, Syria is right there. So we do have kind of a, uh, not really a border with them, but I mean, we're close. Uh, we are stronger than they are, though. So that's useful to know. Okay, so if we're going to expand at the expense of the Numidians, and we are, we will need another spearman over here and that is all the orders I want to spend on troops so let's what do we do here we just finished building a camp uh, what is Utica doing they're building an axeman now we could use a barracks but we could use uh, we could use a camp more so let's get that cooking down here, we just finished a camp. How's our resources looking? Uh, we making some stone, or we making some forest, but that's probably trade because we actually can't do that uh, yet on our own. What do we need more of? We need more metal than uh, stone. So let's work on a mine. And then this fella right here is going to 
Well, he's not going to do much of anything. We're going to come up here, and that's it. Okay. Well, that was a fairly uninspiring first turn back into the game. But whatever. We're going to, we're going to fix it. Now, Assyria might be small and weaker. But they just took a big old jump in score, as did the Greeks. Ishtar Gate. Okay, well that explains why. We just met the Greeks, officially, and they are in first place by a wide margin. We're going to do this. We got Pygmalion, who's an orator. With a nine charisma, ah, pretty handy. Uh, cool. We're going to take a free settler. And because we're going to take that free settler, we're going to take this one back out the queue. Don't know if we'll need it. If we don't. All right. So what can we do here? Okay, so let's Yeah, buddy. Uh we can upgrade. We got we got some pretty good uh we don't have enough though. Okay. Well let's keep these guys back here to do some upgrading. And Now, I don't want to do that, and I'll tell you why I don't want to do that. I don't want him to get his free shot. We're going to come here, and then next turn, so we're out of range, and next turn we can get, uh, we'll, we'll be the one to take the first shot, not him. <clears throat> All right, so that pretty well, I think, spelled doom for this Numidian camp. We got three spears and a slinger that we can use to polish him off. So I think I think we're going to do all right there. Now, we got some workers to assign jobs to. So let's do that. All right. We're going to come up here. Chop, road, road. And then next turn, we're going to get a road cooking up to so, nay, nay. Yeah, we're going to get the science cooking. I'd love to have the orders, but that's all right. One, two, and we're not going to risk it. We're just going to stay right there. Okay. Well, that's fine. Oh, look at him. New Midians coming at us from the other camp. Oh, popping right up there at us. Okay, well, we're going to do the same thing we did last time then. This, we're just going to... We're going to hammer the shit out of this guy. We're going to come over here. And... No, see, I don't want to... Well, he's actually not at war with them yet right at the moment so I think we're gonna be okay with that 
Now we could. Nah, nah. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to do all that. All right. So let's move here, here, and here. That'll blow. That'll uncover some more. Bust some more fog for us and tell us what we what we can expect. We're gonna continue road building out this direction. We got the settler from the tech, so we'll be able to found a new city next turn. And that's pretty cool. Uh, but we out of orders already, so that's not great. I am going to do a caravan here. I don't know why. I'm just going to follow the impulse and uh, Yeah, and that give us a reduction in unhappiness and a boost in culture, but it also reduces our training points. So this guy gonna suck for training troops, but we can fix that by building barracks and ranges and all that. So we're good to go. So next year we will have the Nene connected. We have a new city founded, which will also need to be connected, which we work on next. Probably just take the road right up behind the ridge line and then cross all these two tiles to get to the city. Greeks are pissy. We're going to bulk up our science some more. Pick up some money. Yeah, we are totally not hiring any of these new Midians, that's for sure. So. Alright, well that squares us away. So, how are we doing with the families? Eh, not great. Mm -hmm -hmm. Three cities, two cities, two cities. Well, of those, we're going to give this to the traders, and that's going <clears> to... <throat> that's going to boost their opinion of us a little bit, and we're going to... Now we can build a slinger in the same amount of time we can build a militia. So let's just do that. Alright. Uh, let's see. How long till we get our next settler? Next settler coming out in six. So the question is... Do I feel as though we could take this camp without healing up, or should we heal up first? And I kind of feel like we could take them. Okay, so we're going to do that. I'm going to build a road. I'm going to build a road that connects... The Nene, whatever, will come up here next year, and then we'll go ahead and pre-build the road to that city site as well, so that it'll just start connected. That'll keep the workers busy for a while. Uh... Have we, we have not founded our own religion, but uh, we look like we adopted, have we even adopted 
Zoroastrianism as our religion? If not, that could be a useful thing for us to do. Uh, yes, so we have adopted it. So since we have adopted it, I should probably uh, Okay, well, that's, that's a free religion spread. That's pretty handy. So cool. Okay. This kind of give us a good idea about where uh, where uh, the Assyrian border is, because we're going to run out of expansion opportunities sooner rather than later, and we need to know where we can expand into. So I want to kind of, with the scout, I want to kind of sweep the contours of the Assyrian border up to, say, here ending on this uh, forest tile and then we're going to bring him back south and see because by that time we should have this cleared out so it'll be safe for the scout to move through here and then we're going to see what else we can find down here that might uh, lead to some additional expansion opportunities for us so we're going to check that out we're going to keep our Oh, we don't have husbandry yet, so we can't actually do anything with that tile. Um, well, okay. In that case, let's put a lumber mill in place, because we know we're going to need wood. Uh, we're going to take the border tiles of Thanene and expand ourselves a little bit. That actually come closer to bringing our, our cities together. We're going to have some good connectedness there. I like that. And we are going to come out here and drop a camp down. And that is all we're going to do. I like it. Oh, I like it. This is a good game. I mean, we look like we are a little bit weaker than some of our other starts. I, I'm thinking that this was probably one of those games that is weaker because we uh, had to, this was one of those that was started in the time when we uh, did not have any free city sites, probably, I'm, I'm guessing. Uh, Assyria still got peace with the new Midians, so I don't know what they're doing out here, but they're not fighting them, so whatever. <coughs> We're going to upgrade him to the Libyan Cavalry. Yeah, we could upgrade him to the elite version, but we don't have the near enough points to do that. But that gives that gives us a five strength cavalry, and that's pretty good. Ah, well,
Um, neither of those choices is very good. Somebody going to be pissed. Can't be helped. Okay, that's useful. I do another trade mission. Can we influence uh, anybody with our with our king? Well, let's do that to the Greeks. They not adjacent to us, but they also not terribly far away. And I would just as soon not have an enemy of the strongest player in the game right now. Not to say that they will always be the strongest, mind you. That will be us. But <clears throat> they are the strongest in the here and now. Okay, well... Can I even build a granary? Do I have the tech? I do not. Okay, well. Then, we will not worry about it. We got him just beating the shit out of Egypt. Egypt declares war on Greece. We don't have we have a food boost card in play. So we don't want anything that will unlock any other uh Okay. Alright, so next turn we'll be able to... Well, actually, I think we know enough. We can go ahead and send him south uh, right away. Rapidly completing a road network up to uh, Maleth. Troops coming out in a couple of turns. Settler coming out in four. Good deal. We'll have this guy dealt with next year. And we should be well on our way to securing that camp. Now, Egypt is also at war with the new Midian, so we have to be a little bit careful about how we attack this camp, but we can... That's nothing we have done before, so we will certainly take care to do it appropriately.
Okay. Well then. Right. Okay, the Numidians are gone. Get our scout down this way. Continue to road build toward Maleth. Do some more lumber mills. Now We are absolutely going to do that, even if it means okay. So Greek strength is similar; they still weaker. They sim so everybody's similar in strength to us. Now we have increased our military might sufficiently that. We don't have to necessarily uh, kowtow to, we don't have to cave in to demands and shit like that like we, <clears throat> like we had early, earlier on, which is, which is very handy. We do need another scout so we can increase our visibility of the world around us. Don't look like we got a, uh, much of an opportunity to do a lot of scouting early on. So we are, but well, we're not exactly blind, but we not, we don't know enough about the world, as much about the world as we, as we should. So we're going to fix that. Still kind of thinking we need some more lumber mills. Okay, my son, my heir, we will be ready for combat. Next go, next generation. And hopefully we will get a hero leader. If we're going to go to war, that's my favorite uh, leader type to go to war with, uh, using. So, if we can swing it, we certainly will. Not that. Maybe that. More likely that. Now, let's do civics. We got a big surplus of civics. So, that's not the worst thing in the world. Mm. 
Okay. Now I'm kind of thinking that we just hey. Oh, is that going to connect him up? Surely did. Okay, so then we turn around and we road build out to both of these sites. Uh, Looks like we don't have to do much road building because we can pick up a river flows right to here so we can road build to the city site come out to here and just build two tiles and we connect it good good We got here Carthage. And that should have, yeah, that boosted our relations with the uh, church, Team Zorro. Now, we're not on great terms with the head of our family. One sixty, but didn't we have one that was Yeah, so if we upgrade him, that's gonna take two hundred. But I believe that's as high as he can go. Okay, so we have a strength six cav there. I like that. Well, let's attend to any promotions that we have. Okay. That looked like about the only one. Take 180. Is there any troops that I... I'm not happy with the positioning of. There are not. Ah, but we could promote. This fella right here. Okay.
Yeah, whatever. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. Now, if we can keep Assyria from dumping our shit, and if we can keep the Egyptians reasonably happy while we are expanding into these two yeah well we're not doing that sorry Rome I think we could probably establish mythology we will give it a go Okay, so we found a big lot of nothing down there. And that leave us with the Gauls. Now they got a strength five unit there. I think we're going to go ahead and try to take out the Gauls, although I would dearly love to have a scout tell me more about what's up that way, but we'll start positioning some troops over there. It looks like the last easy expansion we're going to find, although our scout down here in the south might locate something, and I got enough troops in the neighborhood if, if we do. I uh, will be able to uh, respond to that easily enough. So, yeah. Okay. And we're just going to start moving our workers over here to get ready to do some road building. Spidey, yes, we are back to the Carthaginian game after a successful curb stomping with the Babylonian game. I put that one to bed uh, earlier this morning. And so now, just taking them in alphabetical order, we got uh, back to the Carthaginians, and we're going to see if old Codmush can. Yeah, okay. Well. Our air coming along pretty well. Now the Romans have kind of... Let's see, do we have... Okay, let's give him an upgrade. And let's move... Oh, look at all of the... Tell you what, why don't we... Hire one of these fine gentlemen. And next year we might hire a second one. I think we could probably do that. And what about this guy? He's a strength four. And we don't have nearly enough juice to upgrade him. Are we fighting what? We're fighting strength five units. So... Yeah, our Nomad Skirmisher kind of blows. Well, we could upgrade him to a Strength 4 next year, so that'll give us a little bit of a, a little bit of a boost. And we got two Spears. 
and we potentially have a slinger. So I think, uh, yeah, I mean, I think if we if we buy another one of these upstanding gentlemen's next year, we ought to be able to establish a city here, although I will need, well, look at that, and Gadir just finished a settler, so how about that? Except this settler, I believe, is going to head up this direction. Prepare a royal spectacle. Well, that'd be nice. Uh, becoming blessed would be nice. Well, that's the queen's relationship with us. Uh, well, what's the merchant's relationship? Well, the merchants are already actually on pretty good terms with us, so let's just make me blessed. And then we're going to come out here and road build. I think old Card Mush is gonna. He's not very charismatic, but he's proven to be an okay uh, leader. Well, I come to think of it, I haven't gotten any any uh, events from Blessed myself, but um, it is nice to get the the, the ability score. Uh, boost. Always take that. That's, you know, that's not the worst thing. So, handy. We're going to pick up some free wood. We're going to chippity chop. And we're going to have both of those city sites road connected before the settlers, I think, can even arrive, which is awesome. Uh, let's Let's heal up here. Where's that settler? There's that wise little bastard. All right. Do I want to come that way? I don't think I do. Why don't we just come this way and then straight up the, the river? Yeah, I have gotten some cursed events, and I don't can't say that I much like them. But yes, I, they, they, they kind of suck. Alright, well, let's see. Oh, and there's an Assyrian campsite. Okay, and he gonna have his settler right there next year. Well, that tells us quite a lot. Okay, good to know. We're gonna he gonna kick us out of the borders next year, and then we're gonna have to figure something else out as far as exploration, but. Uh, that's going to be a little inconvenient, but on the other hand, when we do declare war on Assyria, we know where to go first. So, that's handy. Hmm, what are we going to do here? I believe we're going to do walls and a spearman. And, let's see. Let's, okay, let's figure out the approach here. We definitely don't want to make any attacks from here, because that would be cross-river attack, and that would be dumb. And we don't want to be dumb. We definitely do want to sell enough shit to buy this fine gentlemen right here. Okay. And yes. I want to Okay. Yeah. 
So we're going to flank him. We're going to crush him. We're going to put the slinger over here. Yeah, we got it. Okay. Not a problem. And we will end up with some pretty good uh, units. Those guys aren't too bad. Eh? Strength 5. Uh, yeah, okay. So, nice. Right. Let's move you here. Okay. Well, that was a pretty good start. Oh, can we... That's our strength 5 cavalry. Yeah, let's get him up there then. Okay. So next year we're going to take that. No problem. What we got here? This is a little nomad skirmisher. He's not very strong. He gains commander or he gains schemer. Well, of the two, give me commander. We're going to do that. And that's going to... What did that do? We had 29 civics. And that boosted it to 69 civics. So that's, that's good. How are we doing relation-wise? Okay, so we're going to send this to, to Egypt. Yeah, okay. Um, let's take a look at... Well, the... Gonads, they're pretty happy with us. They're pretty happy with us. They have the fewest cities, so let's give that to them, and then they'll be pretty happy with us. Impeccable logic. I'm just going to continue building basic economic shit Okay, we'll have some free food as of next year. We middle of the pack. We're not the strong, but we certainly not the weakest. Everybody similar to us in strength, except for the Assyrians, who are still showing up as weaker. Well, that is significant. What do we got to do to kill these assholes? That'll do it. Okay. Well then, let's finish roading up. And it looked like the river flows all the way down to here. 
So we just rode and rode and we're done. So he can finish the job next year. He kicked us out. Oh, Egypt got a site over here. So we have no expansion opportunities in the south. We have no expansion opportunities here. We have no expansion opportunities here. So basically, we have no expansion opportunities unless we go to war with somebody. And that somebody is going to be Assyria. And I think we're going to start with this city right here which is terribly inconvenient for us because we can't, our natural approach is from this direction and that's cross river attack. So the good news is we already had some guys over here and so does Assyria. So if we found our city here, heal up, upgrade our guys, uh, get a few more over here, we should be able to put together a big enough force to deal with this shit and then move south and take over the city of Khat, call it the city of Ashat, uh, before he can. It, that's going to be really hard for him to support this anyway. It's going to be very easy for us to support it. Uh, it be easy for the Egyptians to support it too. Um... But the Egyptians are at peace. No, that's us. Yeah. Okay, the Egyptians are at... Yeah, they're at peace with uh, Assyria. So, okay. Unlikely, then, that we will have any direct competition for that site. Now, knowing that we are going to attack... Assyria. Um, I'm going to improve the tiles here with a with a uh, Hamlet and an Odeon, and then when the fighting starts, I can do shit over here. Give me an axe, man. Oh, take your battlefield logistics, kid. All right, how are we doing on that last segment? What's, what's the time frame there? Three year? Okay. Three year, not bad. We can, yeah, well, that's fine. No, we need to start getting these guys healed up, but if it's only going to be three years, we'll just leave them there and wait. We can heal up when the hospital come to them, as Dale says. Discipline, good. We need that. All right. And we have peace with the Egyptians, so we could slip into his borders if we wanted to. I don't know if we necessarily want to, but let's... Hmm. I'm actually going to take the person who's not... Uh, Mm. 
normally I go with the wisdom, but yeah, okay. Put our heir in charge of diplomacy for us. Let's see. Handy. So he's a strength five and it would take 200 training, so two years we could upgrade him again. All right, well, that's probably worth doing. Yes, Lord, she got good starting stats. Okay. Well, I would say that sets us up pretty well. Families, we got good relations with uh, all of our families. We were about to finish that settler. We work on a, uh, I think, the city we're building a settler out of is, no, he doesn't have our religion yet, so, oh, wait, 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 looking at, okay, so, but Gadir does. So, Rome declare war on Assyria. We don't give a shit about that. Um, out of here, we're going to build a couple of, Team Zorro disciples, see if we can establish that mythology they were talking about. And then back to Carthage to do a try out of Lumber Mills. Wow. Okay. And I think we'll just come up here and start improving things for Malaka while we're waiting on his worker to complete. Uh, next turn we can upgrade our cavalry unit again. Yeah, fuck you, Rome. We ain't worried about you. Good, let him be estranged. Tell you what though, Rome is gonna come at us 
Let's put a decent unit up here. New strength six. That'll give us well, a good little bit of insurance. We got our scout out. Let's get eyes up this way. This is about the earliest I've gotten scholarship. So I'm hoping that we can turn that into a pretty good yeah. Both of these guys kind of suck. But Okay. Hmm. Yeah, that's got to be a mining diamond right there. Finish out the triad here. And... Now, what do we want to do about this guy? Well, Okay. Cardmush the Noble. Well, now. Let's do that to get our families even more tickled with us than they already are. Let's upgrade. Okay, that's as high as he can go. So we'll have a strength six cavalry there paired with, we got three spears and a slinger. That's not enough, but 
it'll be a reasonably good start. Hi, Rome. Ooh, hi, Rome. Really? Well, ain't that something? Might have to take that city side away from the Romans. Hey, PK. Yeah, finished off the Babylon game, so I'm just taking them in order with the first 50 turns videos and just picking them, picking them back up. Okay, so let's see. Well, so we could get in there, but then it would take... Oh, okay, well, let's do that. Let's get him there. And then we'll buy an order. And then we can just found him right now. Okay, well that give us a good place to defend from. I feel better with the Romans coming. I feel better knowing that I got a place I can heal. Uh, yeah, okay, so that works. That took all of my training points, but we do have... Let's do that. I think we're off to a pretty solid beginning. This is one of the games that uh, when we st when we started this one, the build was having problems where there were no free city sites. So our expansion was a shade slower here than some of the some of the pre some of the other starts we've had, but it's not. It's not too shabby. Where is the Romans going? 
I must have got something drew their attention. Uh, leadership is sent a request. Ah, so we can pay Greece and the Greeks declare war on the Romans instead of us. Well, shit, yeah, let's do that. Ha <laughs> ha, that kind of backfired on you, didn't it, ass hat? Alright, um... Okay, so we got our motley band of brothers up here. It's actually not a half bad force, really. Um, so Rome, at war with me, at war with Assyria, at war with Greece, at war with the Gauls. It'd be easier just to say... What, who Rome isn't at war with because it looked like they got everybody on their shit list. You know, I, I, I think, and we, I mean, they listed as similar to us. They got better tech, but they listed as similar to us in, in military strength. But I think we're strong enough that we can go up and take that site from them and I just need to get another settler uh, who's a good, who's a good settler producing Gadir? What you working on, Gadir? Okay, well, I'll tell you what. Uh, go ahead and finish the disciple, but then start cooking another settler for us. Yeah, yeah, start doing that. Hmm, and I'll tell you what else. Why don't we... Yeah, let's just get you, let's use you. We're going to reroute you. And then next year, we're going to saddle up. We're going to saddle up and head out. And see if we can uh, kick the Romans in the teeth. And then found that city, probably, I mean, that's, uh, that's not exactly on their doorstep, but, yeah, that, that's, a, that's a city site. I mean, we, we, we're looking for ways to expand. Well, right there's a the ticket. Yeah, let's do it. All right, so let's, uh, well, I can't general up because I can't put generals on any of these. And my troops just got, uh, my native troops just got upgraded. So, uh, no leadership going to get added. But that's that's not the end of the world. Uh, tell you what, let's send this axeman up here too. And, you know, we can add a general to him. So, let's see. What? No, actually we can't. So, never mind. Okay. Well, we can promote him anyway. Yeah, buddy. Let's make him hit hard. Stay at home, get the wisdom. Alright, well the economy looking pretty good.
Okay. I don't think I want to pull any additional forces to the to the north. Um uh, because I mean I do I am planning to eventually go to war with the Syria and uh, we're gonna need our troops on that the troops that are here we're gonna need to leave them here so now I could maybe spare this slinger uh, this guy's already kind of up here anyway but he's slow so I don't know Okay. Well, now let's see what kind of leadership we got here. Uh, we got four generals to choose from here. Heal a neutral territory. 25% from a hill. Okay, that's useful on a missile troop, so that's good. Um, cod mush. Well, he's 65 years old, though. All right, so we'll put kid in charge here. That's all we can do, though, isn't it? Because we don't have enough training points. So, okay, but, I mean, that's a start. Okay, so who can get where? Well, let's cross the river with these guys. Okay, and then I cannot lose sight of the fact. Yeah. Okay, let's bring you along the road. That'll help. Okay. Yeah, that'll work. That'll work. That's two missile troops, two infantry. Yeah, we got it. Rome? We ain't scared of you, man. Bombacar, the commander, had died. Well, all right, first thing, let's get our, um, yeah, look like coming this way would be the, the better, okay. Not good enough for me. Okay. Next year, we're going to start working on another settler to replace <clears throat> the one that we diverted. But I want to be able to... So the first thing we got to do is move this settler. Because 
when the fighting starts, I want to be able to found that city pretty quickly. Oh, he gonna leave? Well, shit. Oh, wait, wait, I didn't... Uh, okay. I'll pay money for additional training. Yeah, food for orders. That's, I like that better. All right, let's go. I didn't... Uh, yeah. Okay. So, son gained a point of wisdom. Sun became better. That usually happens when you gain wisdom. So, Oh, we up here in force now. You don't come get this back. You're going to have a fight on your hands. I'm going to leave this cab right here, actually. I don't know. I don't know what's here. I don't want to go stumbling around in the dark. Where's my scout for the north? There he is. All right. Well, let's... How interesting. Another Roman city site. Well, Rome, I believe I have discovered the strategy that I am going to employ to attack you. I ain't going to attack your cities. I'm just going to take your shit. I'm going to take your city sites away from you. I believe that's what we're going to do. Because that makes sense, right? Rome typically expands pretty quickly. Um, so, yeah. Okay. They expand faster than they can build the settlers to uh, keep the, you know, to, to plant the cities on the sites. That certainly was the case in our Roman game. We expanded way faster than we could build the settlers to keep up. So, Rome just sitting there guarding a bunch of city sites. Well, we're just going to find them and take them off their hands because we are in good shape for expansion. Oh, now that's significant. Shit, yes, we're going to take composite bows. We got enough for a force march? We do. Let's do it. Right. Who? How are we looking? What families are, well, traders are the least happy with us. So let's do that. Okay. Now this is promising right here. Let's come up here and see. Oh yeah. All right. Are we still hid? Yes, we are. Good. I want to find out if Rome has another site over here. I'm betting that they do. So in the meanwhile, can we? No. This guy. Kind of sucks. So does he. Alright. He doesn't. Well, he is a ranged attacker. Well, why don't we ranged attack from inside our borders? And then why don't we come over here and 
kick him in the teeth. Come on, Rome. Let's play. That'll be a little foolhardy. Although, yeah, fuck you, Rome. Ah, we, okay. Well, then I'm not doing it because I don't want to spend the. Uh... Alright, so let's do this instead. Yeah, let's do this instead. Now, you want to attack my axeman? You might be able to kill my axeman, but you can't kill all his friends, so. Think about that. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Let's do worker militia. There we go. Exactly. Yeah, and and we've got you know we've got the city right there uh, that, that we can. The border, friendly border, we can retreat back to heal up or you know, whatever. Yeah, we, we got this is we're in a good position and Rome fighting everybody. So, I, you know, I don't care how good Rome is. They can't fight the planet simultaneously. So we're going to see what they do. Yeah, didn't think so. Shit heal. But you know what? We're not done. We're not done. Yeah, run away. Run away, you little bitch. Come on. I'm going to take his general out. Uh, what do we got here? What do we got here? We got an axeman with combat one. Uh, an amphibious. Well, that's not going to help him. Uh, upset family. Oh, okay, that's why, because he got, yeah, so he got all the, okay, so he not, he not nearly as impressive as it, at first glance, looked like. Now, these guys are just beating the shit out of, okay, he's on the verge of losing that sight. Oh, we are a most merciful people, you vandals. We will not harm you in the least, I promise. Can I can I get can I get somebody up here to well I could but I could but Okay, we gotta be smart about it though. Now I like that. I like being able to, to trounce that elephant. All right, can I get, how far can the slinger get? Not quite far enough. Uh, you know what? It is worth the forced march to kill that asshole. I didn't kill him. Oh, okay, wait, wait, wait. Hold on, back up. I didn't kill him. It, what if I put, no, if I, even if I put it right next to him, I'm still not going to, so I'm not going to move him at all. Yeah, you know, if if I can't get the kill shot, I don't want to move him. What about this guy? Can I? Yeah, that would take a force march, but it still wouldn't. It still wouldn't kill him. Axeman? Axeman would kill him. Spearman would certainly kill him, and without the force march. But well, okay, let's do that because because uh, this guy is death to my spearman. I mean, you get, you get a bonus against the Spearman. So, let's take advantage of the hills. Uh, that's not really taking advantage of the hills there. This one is. So, let's do that. We're going to keep him at arm's length. Uh, Libyan Cavalry. And are you a, yeah, you a ranged attacker. So, okay, so let's put you here. Put the Libyan cavalry here. Now, if I, 
Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. So what we have essentially done there is cut room off from this city site. Now we still got to deal with, with this shit. And that's not very attractive. I don't know that I necessarily want to go up there and fight him. You know what I do though? Yeah, okay. So let's do this. I'm going to move the Axeman up here, but hopefully keep him far enough away that he won't draw the attention of these guys. And he, this guy is on his uh, campsite. So hopefully they're both just going to fire on him. Uh, either way, either way, next turn, we're going to, we're going to kill this and we're going to, whatever's left here, we're going to start dealing with it. All right. Well, that, that works out pretty well. I'm liking that. We got two orders left. Is that a forest? No, that's, that's wine. Okay, we don't want to move there. We'll move to this tile then. Okay. Oh, lovely. So, they still weaker. Rome's weaker. Okay. Well, I don't know what y'all been doing, because I haven't really built all that many troops. And y'all weakened me. I don't know what you've been doing, but whatever. No, they turned around. Okay, well, they split their attacks. The, uh, the Necropolis completed. Yes, let's keep Egypt on our good side. Or keep, yeah, keep on Egypt's good side. Or something, something like that. Shit, I don't know. Keep somebody on something good side. Okay, we're going to come over here. And beat the shit out of you. Alright. Well, thank you, Rome, for the city site. We appreciate that. Now, let's get over here. And I'm going to... Pull back. Yeah. Yeah, I don't want to be... Hey! What is this? I'm coming for you next, asshat. First, we're going to deal with this. She might have another campsite over here somewhere. We're going to take it from you if you do. Um, uh, what are we doing? Uh, well, build forum and walls. Just build shit. I think I'm just going to leave you right there. And when I get the appropriate tech, I'll infiltrate the piss out of you so I don't have to leave a guy there to pull guard duty, but for the moment I want to keep an eye on what a Siri is putting in there. Do we have our, um, yes we do. Can we do a mythology? Can we do mythology? Yeah, okay, and that's going to make the shrines. That's not my favorite one, but what the hell. Alright. 
Sweet. Done. Ambition down. Okay. Are we are we have we done all the troop shit that we want to do? Yeah. Okay. We did. I got I got some <clears throat> I got some training points we could use though. Uh And he got one more upgrade after that. Will be 200. So next year we could upgrade him to max. Good. Good to know. Alright. Let's go ahead and do promotions. Rome to declare war on us, and I mean, just out of the blue, just we don't even have a border with these asses. What we kind of do now, but I mean, we didn't at the start. I wouldn't go mess with them, but they want to get all up in our face. What you doing? You gonna send some settlers? I am not sure I understand the Roman strategy. Okay. Well. Hmm. We're going to have composite bowl next year. You know, I'm not going to upgrade him then. Um, yeah. Uh, I would love to, but we're going to need that to upgrade slingers. So, we're not doing it. Uh, we'll, I mean, we will get to it later. But... Okay. So next year, we have got to... Shit, he might... Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, I'm not taking that chance. Okay, it's healing. Alright, we'll still have 200... Okay, so next year we got to get rid of this so we can so we can send the slinger up here to relieve the axeman so the axeman can step off and start beating the shit out of this guy. Okay. And then we'll swing around south and then see what else Rome might have over here. Because that, that slinger was doing something over there. So we'll find out what it was. What do we got? What do we got? We got six citizens. Okay.
when you were already connected, so that handy. All right. Ow, ow, son of a bitch. Yeah, I would love to be able to build some uh, wonders and shit, but <laughs> we do not have that luxury. Okay. All right, where, when is the uh, settler? We need the settler. What is he? Four years out, and actually now we're going to need another one, right? Because we're sitting on this site, and that settler was originally destined for this site, but now we're going to need another one. So who else besides Gadir is any good Utica is? Utica, give us another damn settler and give it to us now. What are you even doing? Aurora Borealis something something. Build this. Just stay busy. I smell a mining triad right here. Uh, what the fuck are we going to do here? What are you doing? You're building walls? Okay, that's fine. Build your wall. Where is... So, trade network come out like that. So, let's come here and do the hamlet. Do the lumber mill here. Is that not? Yeah, okay. What do we need? Well, we need food. For one thing, we need we need food. But there are no good food sources up here, so... Well, shit. Don't just go there. Yeah, come build a quarry. Alright. Um, no good food sources up here. Quarry. Now, that would make a decent farm, would it not? Make an even better quarry, but build a farm there. It's fine. It's fine. What you got? Come over here and build a pasture. That'll help a little bit. And then what you got? Well, you can come here and chop, and that'll make a decent, a decent enough farm when it's yeah. Okay, it'll be eight when we get the pasture done. Yeah, we don't give a shit about what Greece won't, so, no. We don't feel like doing any of that shit, actually.
Well, not that it will matter. Okay, so that's better. That is much better. Okay, now we need... Where's this wayward little rascal here? Oh, by God, we are getting there. It's going to take another year to see what else is over here. But I do want to find out at least what is on this side of the mountains. We can worry about what may be on the other side of the mountains later. But right now, I need to know if Rome is over here somewhere with a Garden of City site. And if they are, then we need to relieve them of it. Okay. Now, let's turn our attention to upgrading whatever slingers. Well, let's promote first. Man, you got... Uh, that suck. Okay, take the guard. Okay. Alright, that's all we're going to do for now because these guys probably not going to be probably not going to pull them off garrison duty. So Well that was I mean we would say Rome declaring war on us was the the most fortuitous thing that could happen to us because that kicked our butts into to high gear and led us up this way and this was a this was a tremendous opportunity. Now we've scored two additional city sites taking no losses and yeah. Oh, hell yeah. That's awesome. Okay, well. I'll tell you what. I'm not worried about the... Off and Donna, so... What I am worried about is finding out... There he is. Hi, Rome. Oh, we're going to have to relieve you of that. Can we? Well, okay, so let's see. Let's, uh... There are no hills over there. Uh, can't really make good use of him. We don't really have a lot of great general talent. Uh, and we don't need it to kill a fucking elephant on a, on a thing anyway. What do we care? Okay, and then I'll leave this guy to guard the site once we kill it, because he got a ranged attack, and then the spearman can come back or see what else we got cooking down here. But that tells me that we are going to need yet another settler. And Gadir about to finish up with theirs, so we just have them... Start on another one. Okay. Uh, how are we looking? Yes. Let's do that. That help.
See, I feel like that should, I mean, if the other option will decrease your relationship score, then I feel like this option should increase it, you know? And it, and it, and it doesn't, and that kind of sucks. Okay, so all these guys blow as diplomat, ambassador, whatever. So they're going to take the lady that basically has no skill because at least she's not going to hurt any part of the equation. Uh, we may be able to do that in your lifetime. Don't know, but we'll try. Okay, so what? Yeah, okay. What do we do here? We did a uh, camp. Alright, come down here and do a camp. Weak or naive, similar, very, very far ahead of us in tech, similar, on par with tech. Alright, we gotta stay focused. We need to, we need to deal with the Roman situation before we get all fancy and thinking about other shit. Now we need portcullis. Well, we need spoked wheel first because I want to get the chancellor up and running. So, yeah, I don't think we have any more bonus. We do have a bonus card. That's why, I, yeah, we have the free archer. Free archer. Okay. Yes. Thanks, Rome. Taking candy from a baby. I bet they're regretting declaring war on us now. All right, what are we going to do? Uh, so we got a settler in one, and then we got a settler in ten. Twenty nine military units. We're working on defense.
We don't have great research, but it's not, I mean, it's not horrible. So we're going to get these guys back behind the line. Heal up, upgrade. And I think we're just going to hold the line at Nora, right? Uh, so we'll, we'll leave token uh, garrisons to guard these sites. But then I think we got, how much would it cost to, because we're on decent terms with these guys. So we could buy a couple of random guys to add some heft to the ranks if we, if we need it to. All right, that's good to know. So we trade 50 bucks, which we don't have, to get training. All right, well, we'll work the money out. Yeah, let's do that. Princess Asshat is influenced by me. Yeah, we need tyranny because we need the money. Very nice. Okay. So that was helpful. You know, I'm not sure. Let's go up and check it out. Because I think if we... Marauder, Skirmisher, Warlord, no, they don't look like they do. But that's just the standard stuff. Okay. Okay, All right, gets us down to Greek territory. Well, the Greeks were closer than we thought. Why don't you at least get to at least get to here and then we figure out the rest from there. Yeah, we know. Okay. I think I need to start prioritizing libraries because I'm unhappy with the research. We've got the tools to do something about it. I think putting a library in every city would certainly help. That would push us to probably well over a hundred research, which would be a hell of a good start. Yeah, 
man, we'll do that. Yeah, okay. Asshole. How long till the next settlers? Nine and ten years. That's gonna take a while. Okay. Well, sucks, but not much to be done about that. Okay. So now we we're gonna swing back north, see what's in here, if anything interesting, and then come back up this way. I think that's the last of the. We're not gonna find any more. Any more Romans, though? Okay. Uh, well, shit. Let's, uh, oh yeah, we can't, right? Because that's, it's alright. Carthage. Oh, what are you telling me? Uh, yeah, okay. Let's do that. We need to get another trade mission out, this time to Assyria. Mm. Greece declares war on us. Well, that's unpleasant. Okay, well, let's not send the scout back the way he came. Glad I built them walls. I think I do. Nah.
Okay. Now, if Greece attacks, what are they likely to do? Well, we only know of this city. Well, I mean, we know they got a couple of others down here, but uh, how does Greece feel about well, Greece don't like Egypt, so they're not going to be coming through Egyptian territory. <clears throat> so Utica is the likeliest place for us to see Greeks, unless they come uh, up through the north and do to us like we've been doing to Rome, which makes Nora and these guys vulnerable. So in light of that, this settler need to go over here rather than up here because we need to establish a defensive line against uh, the Greeks. And we need to pull these guys back to heal them up first priority next year because I don't want to lose two of my veteran units. So I got to pull them back Heal them up. And damn it, we need portcullis. We need a spy master and to be able to start infiltrating shit. We fighting these people more or less blind, and I can't say I'm real fond of it. Good job, Egypt. Hey, what? Let's move them over here. Because we're gonna have the we're gonna have the city site. We're gonna have the city there in just a minute anyway. So that'll work. Okay, so there's nothing in there that we need. Okay. And that's going to be very... Look, the research is already spiking. So that's good. We're going to marry our daughter off to Adderall the Younger. Nice.
next year. Next year. No. Okay. And now we got it. <laughs> yeah, fuck off, Assyria. Tactician. good beginning. I think we just defined where the battle will be with uh, with Greece if if there is a battle. Okay, so we need to build... 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we could, we could actually, we can buy tiles, right? So we can come. So we can go here, and then barracks, barracks, buy a tile, uh, stronghold, and then, yeah, or citadel or whatever. Right. So we can do that. Can we just come out and do that now? Yeah. Well, let's go ahead and do that. Okay. They're hangry with us. He's a humble judge who's also cowardly. My inclination is this guy the best bet, but this guy Yeah, I gotta do that for the She just gonna have to take one for the team. No, see, same same basic deal here. We need to do the garrison and then barracks, and then we'll come out and buy some tiles. Oh, uh, right here. Okay, so we can't do that. So what we could do, though, is... Build a Odeon and then a Hamlet here and here. That'll help. Okay. And then we come out here. Oh. Why can't we? Because we don't have the stone. Yeah, okay. Whatever. Now we do. What was this? This was a uh, Shrine of Taint. Yay for the Shrine of Taint. That just sounds very, very bad. All right. Can we... Can, let's, let's take a look at... Uh, so we actually could build this stupid thing. I mean, it's not stupid. It's a good wonder. It's just uh, we hadn't been prioritizing that stuff. Yeah, okay. Oh, and we need 900 stone, don't we? Let's do it. It's a, it's a, it's a thing. We'll have it done two years ahead of the deadline. That's our fourth uh, ambition. Of course, shit, building a museum is also a thing. But 
Zeit. Nur die das schon. Uh, what are we gonna do? We're gonna we're gonna come here. Why? I have no idea. We're just gonna come here. Orator and intern. Okay. So it doesn't really feel like we're fighting. I mean, we're supposedly at war with the Romans and the Greeks. And it doesn't really feel as though we are, because I hadn't seen any hostile Greeks, and we've seen a few hostile Romans, but we pretty well uh, destroyed them. So, yeah, we hadn't seen much of, much of nothing. We will absolutely trade stone for orders. And we will... Ooh, I could use the money. Alright, we'll take the money and then we'll hope to get... Uh... Thing again. Machinery. So it looked like the Assyrian city of Pleria is under attack. What we got over here? Anything good? Vandals? Well, that's potentially very good. Okay. Well, I don't think we can just afford to accept on faith that he gonna leave us alone. So I am gonna come down to this site <clears throat> in some force to uh, hold it. And we're reasonably close to our borders if we if we need to uh, run back and and heal. Alright, now do we have yeah, we got we got enough training points now that we can upgrade a couple of guys. Okay, that's gonna consume an order that we don't have. Okay. What about you? What are you gonna do? Are you gonna do this? And then you're gonna build us an axeman. What is more important? That is more important. I don't even care what her stats are. That is more important. Okay, and we don't have any orders. So next year we got to prioritize trade mission and influencing somebody. Don't matter who. Somebody. Because we got plenty of people who don't like us right now. We got to fix that. I'm holding on to three city sites again, and I think I've only got two settlers cooking. Yeah. Okay. So we need to... Well, you're going to finish up a turn sooner. So, yeah. Okay.
So this Huh. This site, this city, might be somewhat difficult for the Greeks to properly support in the same way that this city is somewhat difficult for Assyria to properly, or, or it will be somewhat difficult for Assyria to support once we, once we actually get a city here, some you know, 100 years from now, or however long it's going to take. But, hmm. Provisionally, I'm going to say that we're going to attack uh, Nicotine. Nicomedia. We're going to attack it. Take it from Greece. Provisionally. we got we got some scouting to do. See what else, see what else is around here. But that kind of look like the shape of things to come. Okay. Shit, and I didn't do any of the stuff I said I was going to prioritize. Alright, I'm not thinking. Next turn I got to. We can't afford to have Assyria angry with us either. We've already got two enemies. There it is. Okay. So, he's doomed. So, it won't do any good to influence anybody. But, we can appoint He kind of sucks, but he will make the families happy. Oh, he's actually good, and he'll make the families happy too. So let's do that. Now, is there someone else? Uh, okay, so that... Yeah, okay. So that's the way to do it. And then we can... And then we can Okay, and then well, the architect is gonna die next turn, so we're not gonna bother trying to influence because he'll be dead before uh before that shit would actually even hit. So.
Yeah, okay. Yeah, so we're not doing that. Well, can I... Okay, let's come out here and do a llama mill then. We do a garrison and two barracks there. But we need a hundred stone. Okay. How are we slipping into his borders? Oh, because yeah, because we're at war. Well, I don't, I don't want to do that though. Okay. Okay. We found Subaru. Alright, well that was better. At least I remember to do the shit, but he died before we could if I'd have done it last turn, it would have it would have kicked over and we, we would have completed those missions before he before he died, but I am a dumbass and so I did not. She twenty four. Now we gonna do the maintain six governors thing because I've got I've been building the shit out of some uh, garrisons and we can actually. We can actually accomplish that, and I, you know, I know we can accomplish that. So first thing, let's do. Let's convert to Team Zoro. Second thing, let's do. Let's influence you. We got missions running with everybody else. So we in good shape there. Similar learned, much weaker, naive, similar competent, weaker competent. Okay. So that's still we we're in good shape militarily. And we were searching machinery, so we're going to have some onagers in the near future. All right, well, how many cities does Greek have, by the way? I got 10. How many cities we got these days? We got 12. 
So we bigger than they are. That's handy. Good to know. We only know where three of their cities are, though. So a lot of a lot of Greece is just in the dark. We have oh, we know where four of them are. Okay, so we not quite half. <coughs> That's not great, to be honest with you. That's not great. I'm going to hire an elite warlord. Why? I have no idea, but I'm going to hire one. Because I got the money, and I wanted to see it bust some fog over here, so... You know, maybe we learned something. Uh, that we need, I'll tell you what we need. We need a couple of more scouts. And we need, God damn, we need portcullis. We need to be able to infiltrate the shit out of our rivals so we can see what the hell's going on. We can't really plan. I mean, we, we could. We could just march up blindly and hope for the best, but that is not really how I like to play the game. So... <laughs> Yeah, until we're going to bide our time, and, and until we until we can get some better intel, we're not really going to be in a great rush to, yeah, we're going to be in a great rush to found that city, though, I tell you, send his ass right on up, and that's all we can do, so let's see what, control four harbors that we don't even have, the, uh, six governors, that's what I want to do. And I think we can actually do that reasonably quickly. Yeah, four, five, so maybe by even next year or the year after, because we're working on some more garrisons. So we'll just stick whoever. Right? I mean, it don't even really matter. We'll just stick people in governorships, and we'll make a priority of doing that next year. We'll see how far we get. I mean, yes, we could play the meta game. We could really study the matter and see who would be the best fit for what. Now, you know what? It, 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 all the government are going to be. I mean, we won't pick anyone that just outright sucks. So, all the governors are going to add something to the bottom line. And we're not going to think too long and hard about it. We're just going to say, hey, you want a job? Stick you in a hole. That's all we're going to do. We're not going to. We're not going to obsess over the, the finer points too much, although if we did uh, we would get more out of it, I mean you get you get back what you put into it and uh, well, right, I mean, yeah we, we, we won't just, like if we find an insane drunk guy, we won't pull him off the street and say, hey, you want a job? you know, but we'll as long as he doesn't completely blow chunks, we'll We'll put them. We'll put them somewhere. And I think we're gonna put. Well, we can't even build. We can't even build a damn thing in the capital. Okay. Well, that that kind of sucks. We don't even have one in the uh, a, a, a garrison for the capital yet. That's okay. We're gonna put the queen. Where are we gonna put her? Right, right here, maybe. With the okay, so she would reduce. Our civics a little bit and help our training a little bit. See, not, I mean, yeah, she got good growth. We'll say that for. Her. So, we'll actually, we are building growth related shit here. So, let's do that. Queen, you got a job. Okay, we can actually put somebody here. Good. Who do we want to put here? What are they doing? Well, are they building a caravan? What are they good at? They're good at nothing, really. So, is there anybody here that can do uh, military training? Yeah, this guy. All right, you're hired. Bang, done. All right, what about, what is this? This is a little shit town. I don't even have a thing. Never mind. This town, not a, not a thing. This town does. Okay, what are you guys doing? You're building an axeman. Do you have anybody else that's decent with uh, troop training? Not really, but you're better than anybody else we got, so you're hired. Oh, wait, he's already doing a thing. Never mind. Uh, and you're serving as the ambassador. 
and you're already governing somewhere. So is there anyone who won't hurt training? Yes, you, you're hired. Okay. Right, what about you? You don't have a thing. You don't have a thing. You have a thing. Okay, good. So you got a job. You don't have a job. You're building troops, though, so that would be kind of a shit job to put you in. You're really good, even though you don't help with troop training. You're hired. Cool. Who? What is this? Nothing. We got a thing. Okay, what are you? You're building a, a spearman. What are we? You're actually. You rock. Okay, you don't do. You aren't any good at training troops, but you kind of rock. So you're, oh, you're the ambassador. You suck. I mean, you're good, but whatever. Yeah, put you in charge then. Okay, you, what do we got here? We got uh, Marion, Matlock the, the Young, Matlock the Younger will give us a point of um, science. We'll take it. So, there we go. Ten legitimacy, just like that. All right. Well, that was easy. What's next? <laughs> next is to find some more uh, Greek cities. Hey, we found one. Look. Cool. All right. So that's like five of ten. Now we know where a few more things are. But this was a garrison, so now we want barracks. Because, for some reason, everybody decided to declare war on us. Why can we not? Where is... Yes, I, oh, because I don't have two adjacent tiles. Durr, I knew that. Okay. Uh, and then we're going to pop out here and do another barracks. And then we're going to... I was going to do a, a hamlet right there. Yeah. All right. So we'll be back in good graces with uh, Egypt. So next up, we got to, on a trade mission, five, we got to work on the Assyrian relationship. And then we got to get back on building damn libraries because our research, I kind of got sidetracked by building garrisons. And, uh, oh, well, that kind of blows. Well, here comes some... Yes, we will. Give me that science. Fit for the aristocracy. Well, things are looking up on the family front. Okay. This has been a really unusual game, but I'm really kind of liking it. Alright, we're going to send our mercenaries to deal with Some of these ass hats. You know what? I am going to recall my spearman too, since he's not even in position yet. Alright, so we'll deal with that. Oh, we're going to totally give her diseased citizens. That's a dick move, but I like it. Yeah, we're not doing any of that. All right, well, let's go just sort of poke around. Sweet. So that's, so yeah, that's five Greek cities we now know about, right? Five of the ten. And this looks like Greek's northern frontier. So the rest of them are going to be down here somewhere. I'll hop in the water 
uh, bust this fog, hop in the water next turn, and we'll scope it out. We'll find them. I don't know why everybody being dicks and declaring war like that, but, you know, hey. Hmm. Let's see. Axeman. Don't care. Axeman. Don't matter what you were, were working on. Troops. And they already got uh, monitors. Alright, so we're going to do a trade mission with the Assyrians. She going to do... Can we... We do have the tech for this. Um, we don't really have any cities that are bad, bad off. So we, we, we would actually get more bang for our buck by just um, doing a family gift. Straight up bribing them. Okay. And we, we just sent the settler up here to found the city here. And that's, yeah, oh, we're going to be, that's very aggressive. I like it. All right. Um, I don't know how much, yeah, we're going to wait on that one. So, let's send this settler over here. It'll take up several turns, and I don't give a shit. Okay. Alright, so we did the... Man, you go. No, that's not going to work either. Okay, so did I screw that up? Yeah, I probably did, but that's okay. We're going to come back here and build the barracks. We'll fix it later. Barracks. Build a barracks next year. So it might be a while before we get back to building libraries, but we are at least supplementing the research with some trade deals. So we're not completely hopeless, just, you know, most hopeless. Rome and Roman paganism are furious with us. For go figure. Damn, everybody else furious with us. You guys might be too. Might as well be too. Troops, don't care. Give me some more frontline meat shields. May as well explore this before we depart, but medium term we're on the way to uh, and you were headed up here so yes come there start trade mission let's do it with the Assyrians I want to oh well it won't bust any fog will it because the capital right there right out of sight Yeah, they could use they could use the boost anyway.
All right. Things are looking up, man. It is good to be a Carthaginian. Even though we're at war with two nations, one bigger and one smaller than us, but it is still good to be a Carthaginian. What y'all gonna do? Because I moved my forces away, so he's gonna come out and be all big and bad. Look at him. And the Assyrians have made peace with the Romans. Well, that's not pleasant. All right, and we don't have a lot of troops over there anymore because we moved them toward Greece. So let's make peace with the Romans. Uh, we can't. Okay. Okay. So we got to get we got to get some troops back up to Nora because we don't have Assyria running interference for us against the Romans anymore. Although they are still weaker than us, so we don't have a lot to fear from them. Same thing. Greece now making peace with uh, Egypt, which means we are going to be facing the full might of Greece. as well as the full might of Rome. But you know what? We can take them. I feel good about it. Look at there. Now that's nice. Alright. Come on, assholes. Let's do it. Both of you giant festering nut sacks will take you both on then. Let's see. Yeah, keep on beating on the city there, chief. What do we got to do here? We got we got three orders left. 
Yeah, we're not making peace with these jerk offs. Oh, shit, most boost relations with them anyway. Alright, what is this? We got, so let's do the standard. Let's do the standard kit. Send another one, huh? Okay. You just keep on. Ah. Good. Good. We got some money. Ah, we got portcullis. Now shit's about to get real. Now it sucks that we couldn't kill that bastard. Hey, yo, what? Um, I'm, I'm sensing a great big old can of whoop ass. We need 800 stone. I think I can just buy that, can I? Yeah. Okay. Done. 800 stone. Troops. That looked like another barbarian. I'm hoping that's another vandal camp, actually. That would be very helpful if it is. Alright, so we'll have that resolved next year. What we got up here, little Romans? Two archers, three slingers. Yeah, okay. Keep beating on the city. You just, you just knock yourselves out, cause I got guys coming, and we're gonna have, we're gonna settle up some scores. Uh, tell you what, let's, uh, stuns target, right. <laughs> okay, yeah, we coming. Let's go. Come on, fool. Ah, uh, you just heal up. We got you. Next year, we got you. See, now you're just pissing me off.
Oh, well, we definitely going to choose the money guy. Yeah. I don't even give a shit what he does. Just give me the money. Come on. Kill him. We got shit to do, man. Let's go. Right. So what you got here? You're coming out with a worker. Ain't no big deal. All right, now. We're going to park you right here. Oh, oh, you ain't going anywhere. Now, that's a cross river attack, isn't it? Yeah. That's not. Wait, is that? What do we got? General's upset, so we minus five. Okay, so why is the general upset? Can we just click you? No. All right, what is your name? Why are you upset? Prince Consort Beal Bad. Right. Well, Prince Consort Beal Bad, what can we do? To make you not upset. Well, we can spend some money and influence your ass. But in the meantime, you still gonna fight. I don't give a shit if you're upset. So get out there and do your job. Okay. Yeah, whatever. All right. Need a garrison, so garrison. I think I'm going to leave all these guys here. Now, although we may as well, if they're going to stay here, we may as well put them on a barracks and let them earn some XP. Okay. So he's stunned. He's not going anywhere. And he's wrecked. If he don't leave, he'll be dead next turn. Alright. There's all sorts of neat shit up here. Well, I still gotta find out what that is. But... It's not going anywhere, so, okay, so I've got a, oh, this is the settler coming over here, all right, good, we'll do it. So this is, this is promising. Oh, giant slug of iced coffee. That helped clear the head. So we're going to have the museum um, in like a decade. And that will... Uh, now, what you doing? Oh, you didn't like my stunner. I see. Huh. 
Huh. Okay. So, yeah, I actually got quite a lot in there. Yeah, let's trade iron for orders. Okay. So, we got to be a little bit careful, look like. Because there's... He got he got more stuff than we originally believed. So we're not ready to go on the offensive yet. Is the is the long and the short of it? Okay, but let's stun you. Okay. Nah, we need to kill something. So, yeah, let's put it together like that. Okay, and then you're not going anywhere. We can't kill you, but you're not going anywhere. So, let's also go to work on you. Now, next year, I mean, he could theoretically... Because this guy it says he's stunned, but he actually not. He was stunned last turn. He's going to come out of it and be able to attack next year. So that's a little bit deceptive. Um, but so he could get three units, concentrate fire on the spear. He might kill that spearman. I don't know. Uh, tell you what, let's give him another target to shoot at. We're just going to. Maybe, I mean, it, if we have to lose something, Militia, way better than Spearman. So let's see what that, let's see what that does. In the meantime, though, we can't get, uh, we, we can't forget about the Greeks, because they're over here too. So we're going to have to kind of divide our attention a little bit. Tell you what we're going to do. We're going to start building some onagers. Field asses. I don't even care how long it takes because we're going to build uh, barracks and stuff. And, okay. So, Rome want to make uh, a truce. Now, the question is, do we want to let Rome out of it? Spidey, what you think? Um, we are fighting two, two opponents. If we let Rome out of it, we could focus all of our attention on Greece and start picking them apart when we get our field asses up and running. On the other hand, I mean, well, we, we have a stunned elephant. We just killed another elephant. So we could kick the shit out of the Romans. All right, let's let's do it then. Let's make peace. Y'all get the fuck out. Yeah, bye. Okay, I can. I am totally good with that. So now it's us and Greeks, and I and that is a fair assessment. We we did. Uh, by any metric, I would say we won that war with Rome, even though we actually didn't really fight very many of them. I mean, we, we killed a couple of guards they had on uh, campsites, you know. But this was the first real actual battle that we had with the with the Romans. But yeah, so I, I would say we I would say we won that pretty handily. Hmm. 
Okay, no, 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 no. No! Okay, so we're gonna come. That's, that was a stupid place to build that. But that's okay. We'll make it work. Oh yeah, I love this event. This is the everybody scared shitless of us. And we arrest people and they all get happy. I love it. Scholarship and vaulting. Yeah, well, we already got scholarship, so... Yeah, let's do that one. Alright, so get your stunned asses away from my border. Rome. And we will heal up and get serious about uh, Greece. Hey, now we can appoint dude. Okay, when they're upset because they don't have a seat on the on the council, but you know what? We don't get upset. All right. So now, well, my goodness. Hello, vandals. Okay, you suck at making scouts, but you better at making troops, so make some troops. You pretty good at making scouts. Good, I want a four pack of them. Now we getting somewhere. Look at that. Okay, and we'd already pre-built the road, so that's already connected. That's good. Uh, well, I think we, I mean, a long time ago, we had talked about... Uh, declaring war on Assyria, and I think that's kind of gone out the window. So, let's move, yeah, let's just move troops over here. Staging area, this, Gadir-ish, somewhere. Just get your asses over here. We'll figure out the details once you get here. Uh, yes, you too, even though it's going to be painfully fucking slow watching you do that. But go ahead. Okay. What do we got here? We got... Uh, yeah, yeah, everybody. Full muster. Everybody head over here. Worker, militia, or treasury, whatever. Just build shit. Foreign opinion. Hell yes. Ambassador, do your job. Okay, so we're building ranges, barracks, whichever, don't care. Training points. What are you? Training points. Yes, more of that. Uh, 
Yeah, it's going to kind of suck, but let's do it anyway. It's not optimal, but I don't care about optimal at the moment. So... Eh, close enough. Now... Okay. Have you been fully upgraded? Yes, you have. All right, good. And is this, what is this? Is this our, oh, we can establish another thing, another layer to the wedding cake, the, the religion cake. So we want temples to give us half an order. We want temples to give us minus one on happiness is what we want. All right. Good deal. And then do another one of them after you finish with the archery. Right? Yeah. Okay. Good deal. Science is okay. Food, not great. We got to... Uh, I don't think we have any more food specials. So we got to find some decent farmland somewhere and just make some regular farms. Oh, well, let's by all means go fight the sea monster. Shit. Because, I mean, that's what we do, right? Uh, we're going to need at least one more, so get to it. Now, it... it I don't want new players to think I'm just randomly picking troops to build. I actually have been keeping a mental count of how many onagers we got. And I believe, if, I, if my count is right, this is number four. And I want four or five. So, there's one, two, three, four. Okay, four. There's a number four. So, I was off by one. But, yeah, we so we uh, we definitely going to need... More than just, like, a single onager. Now, we're going to get a free one, uh, I hope. Unless it comes up, you know, we have to pick between a couple of different free cars. But uh, pretty much, onager wins against almost any other free card we likely to see. So, well, we're going to need them. Because I do not want to uh, be in the business of laying siege to shit with just archers. I mean, I want I want to have something that can punch hard and from a good distance. And it looked like, actually, it looked like right there's a spot for Onager. I mean, we don't technically need to be on the hill. So we could, if we come in from the north, we could come in from either way with, with this approach to this city. Uh, if we come in from the north, we could just basically put the three onagers here and blow the doors off Nicomedia. If we come in from the south, well, I don't know because we hadn't cleared the fog off yet. But speaking of, speaking of fog and stuff, why don't we infiltrate this shit heel right here? Since we are, in fact, at war with him. 
And why don't we do a trade mission with the Egyptians? And what else can we do? Families are looking solid. So let's... Can we influence you? No, she already influenced by it. Can we influence you? Yes, we can. Let's do that. Okay. So that's that's done. We got we got our diplomatic shit cooking. And that's what we like to see. So where is our fearless leader? Fearless leader is up here. So let's move her over this way and heal her up. What we got here? This guy come back here and heal. Archer getting ready for a promotion, but we're going to promote on the road. Yeah, okay. We're going to give him Besieger, because guess what he's going to do? Mm -hmm. um, heal. Heal. And we're out of, we're out of orders. But that's okay. So now that we don't have to worry about Rome, and we'll, we'll infiltrate Rome uh, after we finish infiltrating. Okay, so he's up to similar in strength. He was weaker. So he's been building military. We know that. But it's fine. I mean, we, we just started building military, but we, we, we get him. We got more cities than he does, so... And I'm building barracks and ranges to speed the production of of our troops. So it might say he's similar, but he's not similar. We're gonna kick his ass. And the good news here is that Greece is the top dog. So every city we take from the Greeks and give to ourselves is a double dip. He, his score decreases, our score increases. So we're going to switch places very quickly with uh, the Greek. It's going to be very nice. Okay, so we got we got some got some troops in the general vicinity. Okay, and now we know what that is. That's all part of the greater vandal kingdom over here which we will probably take some advantage of uh, I'm all slowly I'm just gonna leave this guy here but I'm gonna slowly hire up a couple of these guys and uh, we'll use them to cause problems for the uh, for the Greeks and where did I had said I had ordered some scouts where they okay three three years three years on the scouts that's not bad now we're gonna leave the archer behind as a as a garrison okay can we upgrade you? Upgrade him to a gangster. I love it. We are totally upgrading him to a gangster. How awesome is that? Gangster power. Yeah. 
We just need we just need meat shields. We got we got enough archers. We're gonna have enough onagers. We just need guys to sustain it from all the light shit. Oh, there he comes. He got his own onager, so... Well, and he is learned, so he got better tech, so... That should not come as a... Well, thank you for building the Colossus for me. I greatly appreciate it. We will... I promise to take good care of it after we take it off your hands. Okay. Oh, yeah, man. Come down here. See what this is all about. Next year, we're going to infiltrate our first Grecian city. Scout coming in two. We're going to bust this fog and Infiltrate Nicomedius. We can see what's going on. What are you building and all that? Um, can we do a... Can we do it? No, because we need developing culture. All right, well, screw you then. We just build another... Another thing. Quarry. Now, starting to look like we mean business over here. You're not similar. I don't believe it. <sighs> oh! I was rude. We don't need honey. Well, shit, we don't need lavender either, but okay. Free field ass. Now, what did what was all this with the... Did you just... You just popped the shit. How did you do that? You're not on a hill. Oh, yes, you are on the hill. Okay, well, that's how you did it. Okay, fair play. We back up. Well, that's not going to solve the problem, is it? So about like that. Uh, scout done? No, next year. Okay. <clears throat> One, two, uh, 
not so much we can learn. Okay, we just infiltrate. What do we got over here? We got a hoop plate and, uh, and an onager. Okay. Tell you what, um, they pleased with us, right? Help us out. <laughs> Okay, so what do we got? We got uh, we got two things, and we okay. So we're gonna do a stronghold over here. We got two things, and unfortunately, we can't do a stronghold in an optimal location there. But that's all right. We'll do another triangle of them somewhere else. That'll be fine. Okay, so here. We could come out and, well, we, we, okay, let's just do it like that. Let's do, do a range there and then come out and do the, do the thing. And then we'll buy some tiles and it'll all be good. Uh, okay, see who did this. Yeah, we're not going to be able to do a very good job here, but we'll make it work. Okay, and then come over here for a range, and then do a stronghold here when we get another level of cultural growth. But in the meanwhile, oh, you know what, and we can't actually do that, so let's come out here and buy this tile. Well, now we can. We'll come, we'll, we'll build like a temple, of, a shrine of paint or somebody over here and then we'll do a yeah okay so it'll work um Yeah, okay. Well, that's fine. We want them to go to war with us. Or, yeah, join us in a in a war against uh, Egypt so, or against Greece. So I think it is totally fine if we give them a tech, especially one with no combat value attached to it. Well, no direct combat value attached to it. I would argue that <laughs> scholarship is probably the most deadly tech in the game. But all right, we don't want to send too many forces over here, though, because this is narrow. So what I want to do is be able to send at least a couple of guys down this way. We don't want to get bogged down here and like create a bottleneck where it's hard to fight and maneuver. So we got to be careful about that. But oh yeah, we're going to take out Nicomedia. That's done deal. Okay, we're definitely going to take that war elephant. How are we doing with these guys? Oh, you know what? We are actually going to take the... Well, we don't need it. Okay, let's take the relation bonus then. All right, this guy, I believe, is destined for this tile. 
So you just go and you let me know when you get there. Come over here, beautiful. We need you. Can we upgrade you? Oh, Elite Javelineers? Well, hell yes. Let's get some more of them. Alright. You heal up. You fine upstanding gentlemen head this way. And oh we're it, it's on now. It is on now. Well, I think we're just going to approach Nicomedia from the south because that's where the honors will be coming from. We built back here in our core cities. And rather than dragging their slow ass all the way around the Carpathian Mountains. For 2300 bucks? Sold. Ha ha ha. Sold. That was a bargain. Yeah, okay, so Assyria owes us a favor. We bought Greece's, or we bought Egypt's uh, allegiance in this war. We got our first onager out. Oh my. Alright, so next year we're going to infiltrate. Do we need to infiltrate Nick Me? We can kind of see it already. So actually, let's infiltrate uh, Neapolis so we can kind of see what else is coming. That'll give us a pretty good view of what he can reasonably get to the theater of war. Okay, that's what we'll do. Alright, and then what do we got here? So let's build some 
ranges, right? Yeah. Okay. And then let's build some more because we're going we're gonna to need the stone to pay for all the upkeep for all these fancy fancy buildings we're putting together. We also got to start thinking about a head count. We need to know when I'm not going to make the attack until I've got at least two onagers. So we need one more onager, which we're going to get shortly-ish. I think, and but we still need to kind of start getting a sense of what we got here. So we got three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So there's fifteen just right here. Sixteen, two onagers make eighteen, and then the northern force, not. It doesn't have to be a full-size battle group. It's just going to be a slip in the back door and kind of... What? What do we got going on with here? Oh, we got some guys that went rogue. Well, shit. Okay. Uh, don't really care. If he goes rogue, he might. they, they might head down to Greece. So I'm just going to leave and let him... Uh, let them do what they're going to do. We all going to do another caravan to raise some more cash. And then shit, we're just going to build troops. Alright, get up here. Now this city is not connected. Come to think of it, neither did this one. Alright, well that shouldn't be too hard to do. So let's connect these two with each other. And then we will worry about the rest. What are these? These are elite javelineers now. Let's get the elite musketeers down here. Four, five, six, seven, eight. You know, I mean, that's a nine unit force. That is still 10, 11, because we're going to. Yeah, so that's almost a full size battle group in its own right. Um, actually, we could add to that just a little bit more. We got to upgrade him, but twice. But that'll be all right. We can do that. Alright, so let's ah. Okay, shit's starting to come together. I quit that. Elephant. That's fine. Oh, I'm I'm kind of liking this. Onager and four. Is that the fastest onager we got? Onager and two. Onager next year. Okay. Onager next year. That's what I want to see. Mm, iced coffee freezing my brain. Ah. Oh. So us in Greece, huh? Similar. <clears throat> we'll we'll see about that. Look, dickhead, I'm trying to leave. Okay. Yeah, okay. So let's just 
here. We just get over here and uh, okay. So now y'all go south, okay? Because we gone, we gone. So you can go south. Okay. So where is that lovely new? Yeah. Oh, and and close by, no less. Where's the other one? Not as close by, but getting there. Okay. Um. Uh, let's. Oh, yes, by all means. Well, we just going to have to force mark. What do you mean we don't have a... a th oh, because we don't... Never mind. All right. That's it, huh? Groovy collection of slingers, dude. All right, well, let's general up. Well, okay, why do I want to even do that? Tell you what, um, that's actually a great general for somebody who is going to stay at home. Yeah, earn some free XP. Otherwise, she kind of sucks. Okay. Plus 15% attack. Yeah, we like that. Okay, good. Nothing. Plus 0% attack. Minus 5% uh, on defense. Same unit adjacent. We can we can make that happen. Okay. Same unit adjacent. Got it. Gangsta. Can you be upgraded again? Yes, you can. What do you? An elite gangsta. Oh well, my God. We gotta have an elite gangsta joining us on the attack. How can we lose? I mean, honestly, we have an elite gangster. All right, we upgrade him again next year. Okay. Looking pretty good. Give me a bunch of horses. Oh, well, we had to move, so don't do nothing. Go explore. Oh. We could certainly make use of the farmland. Oh, yeah. Yes. They are a gangster's paradise. They are indeed. And I will be more than happy. They're working on the Colossus, so you know, that's one of my favorites. Hey, we got one. Look at us go.
All right. Now the question is. No, we would need to be there and there. So we'll just take a time. Okay, well that's annoying. But whatever. We do it the slow way. Okay. Sure. Yeah, let's slander the shit out of them. Absolutely. Do we want to build the academy right there, though? Is that how we want to? No, we really don't. I mean, yes to the idea of an academy, but not right, not right there. Okay. Uh, well. Well, it's about to get real. <clears throat> Things are looking up. And we just have the most bizarre looking army with all of our uber gangsters and, and uh, uh, random mercenary units running around. But it's all right. It's going to be effective. Now, I think, as far as approach goes, I think what we should do is probably stake out a position on these. Well, I'm going to wait till Greece get done, and then I can look at the map. Governor Asshat of Maleth has converted to Judaism. Okay. Alright. So, in terms of approach, I think what we're going to do is stake out a position. We're going to put a couple of just whatever units here 
to like use the the mountains as an, as an anchor and then our line is going to be like this uh, with just meat shields right here and then archers back here firing over and we'll see what he does it will probably mean rolling up the onagers here because they're going to be protected by our units coming up to here so onagers here meat shields here archers filling in behind and then cavalry and elephant operating like that just stationed here to swing up and take advantage of opportunities as they arise simultaneous with that we will send this force south uh, to just cause whatever general ruckus we can we can get into yeah okay so let's get Get the onagers up. We're going to start. Okay. Yeah, we move them with a purpose now. All right, I think I got a yeah, I got a settler we got to deal with. So next year we'll have him squared away, and then we'll upgrade this guy. These guys are ready to go. Okay. So yeah, let's do it. It's game on next turn. What's wrong with this kid? She actually really good yeah fuck you guys you know what you're talking about they don't know what they're talking about I'm sorry but they just don't All right, depending on what he does next year, we're going to send out a leading element and hit this onager. I mean, he got slingers here. It's not a threatening force. So depending on what he does, we're going to send out at least two axemen, uh, enough missile troops to support him to kill this. We'll see what he does about that. Simultaneous to that, I will probably go ahead and start this attack from the north. Oh, good hit. Okay. Okay, it's on. We will be helping the Egyptians, for sure. Yeah, 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 we're going to jump in the middle of that. We are going to jump in the thick of that. Go Egypt! I love it. This is actually, it feels like I actually have an ally here. Alright. 
This is a ranged attacker. So we can actually park him here. And I mean just beat the shit out of that little guy. So then when we come over here like this. And hit. Yeah, we're going to do some nice collateral damage. Okay. What if we... Oh, you know what? Hell yes. Let's get our elite gangster. Go elite gangster. Alright, so we need an archer. Just somebody who can do that last point of damage. Okay, so this isn't exactly like what I had envisioned because I didn't know Egypt was going to do all this. But anyway, it's working. It's working. We still got 22 uh, orders. So the big priority now is to get the onagers into position. One, two, three, four. We need onagers here and here. Okay. Where is this guy? Can Okay, so he can get a little closer anyway. So let's close the gap. Let's, uh, we're going to make it where our onagers can move in relative safety. Next turn, we will develop the position enough to get the onagers actually in place and get to a firing position. I need to send some reserve. Up here, well, actually, I've only got only got four orders left. So Northern Attack Force gonna have to wait, but I can go ahead and upgrade to a horseman and we'll take the hill anyway. Okay, so it's ripe. It's ripe for the the picking next turn. Well, I mean, I don't think we'll actually, I don't think we'll actually take it next turn. Now, wait a minute. Which is the? Yeah, we so we don't want the war elephant. We want the, we want the African elephant. That's my, that's my baby. All right, that's what we want. Oh, well, we definitely going to take a minus one discontent in all cities. Shit, yeah. That was a good event. Okay, so... Next year going to be pretty cool. I mean, I, I don't have any illusions. We're not going to take the, the, the Greek city. But we are going to start beating up on it <clears throat> from three different directions. And old Egypt been very helpful. How are we looking? They said similar strength a while ago. We're back to weaker. Okay. And we didn't. We didn't do much, and we killed what? Uh, we killed the Onager, and uh, I think we... No, we just killed the Onager, just the one unit. So, we didn't do much. He's scrambling now, though. Look at him. Running around like little blue cockroaches. You gonna send some slingers up to mess with my axemen? Oh, holy shit. Did you look at all of this? Oh, that's fugly. Yeah, okay, so let's get the city planted. Hmm. Let's get our cavalry unit healed up.
Okay. What are you? You're an elite warlord, but you can't really do shit. You're not very good with cities. So, let's move in the guys that can actually hurt the city. Right? Okay, so let's stop there. We're not going to actually make any attack yet. Get rid of you. Okay. So you're going to come down here. Oh, you in range. We have a firing solution. Okay. I am 100% happy with that. I mean, even though we didn't launch a single attack, that's that mean where we launched one little attack. That is perfectly fine. We are primed and ready. Yeah, I bet the governors are starting to die off. I just appointed a bunch of random assholes. I mean, I'm sure they were very fine, upstanding people, but, you know, whatever. What you gonna do, Greece? Oh, we are in first place, by the way. Um, even before we take this city away from the Greeks, which we are 100% gonna do. Yeah, that's gonna be a problem. Hey, what? I'll send you up. Yeah, let's we'll send you up too. Shit. Okay. So. Nicoderm. Give me that free axe, man. Done. What's next? I should have moved him before I attacked, then they both would have got flanked.
Okay. So this force really didn't do much of anything except show up. We will swing them around. Or, nah, never mind. Never mind. I'm not even going to say that out loud. That was stupid. Yeah, we will swing them around. And they just serve as a reserve. I don't think we're going to need it. Uh, we can get, we can use force marches to get our uh, two onagers in position somewhere to hit Neopolis. Turn after, we can get them into position next turn. They, they start firing, turn after next. So, here and here. We put them there, unlimber, and get ready to take it out. Oh, Spidey, I just saw your comment about the, that could be exactly why they upset, you know what, and hell with them. All right, Christianity founded, we're going to arrest his ass, we don't care. Uh, a fistful of forms. Rome. Rome coming to us, Rome, Poli yeah, okay. Upgrade Mutton Ball. We actually have a guy. A, oh, she's our she's our heir. Our heir's name is Mutton Ball. I uh, I actually kind of love that. I mean, we had a guy named Codmush earlier. Why not Mutton Ball? Oh, yeah. Okay. So the question is, really, I mean, the, the major question is, how much of, of Greece do we eat all the might? I don't think we should, I don't think we should, like, take them out all in one go. Um, mostly because we just got our first onagers. We're not really all that organized. And after this city it might start to get a little complicated but I mean we could we could still we can take two or three cities with relative ease but then I think we ought to stop give us and them a chance to recover and oh he's gonna fight me right here I mean he's just up in my face Yeah, they do. Damn. I mean, we got some crazy-ass stuff. Now, both Assyria and Rome look like they're making a play for this Vandal camp. Yeah, okay, whatever. I'd rather have you be bitter than extravagant and wasting our money. Look here, dickhead. I don't know what you're thinking, but we just not having that. These guys, well, he got to go back. He got to go back and heal. Uh, okay, so let's force march. Yeah, okay, we force march you to here, and then we didn't. We didn't actually move you, so okay. So then we 
Okay, let me force mark to your head. And that still, and that still works. Okay. So we need to get And that's going to be a cross river attack, which we do not wish to make. So we're going to come there. Okay. So next year we can. Yeah. So we haven't lost. We didn't lose anybody that attack. We just got a couple of units beat to shit. That's all right, too. Yeah. Uh, okay. Good. All right. So we will have Neapolis, I think, either next turn or the turn following. It depends on what these guys do and how much, how many attacks it takes for us to be rid of them. But I think we can have it. We can have it for sure. Turn to next. And that would be a good place to make peace if they, if they want peace. I mean, they might not, they might reject it, or they might not even offer it. If they don't offer it, we'll offer it after we take Neapolis. If they reject it, fine, we'll keep going. But two cities for our first foray, that seemed pretty good to me. Oh, he got a big gun coming up. Hope light. They gonna kill him too. Yeah, there it goes. All right. Yeah, I mean, I, I think we've demonstrated that uh, uh, we are the strongest of the, of the two of us. Stronger, of the, you know, we are the stronger power. Uh, so, he will either pony up or we're just going to kick his ass. And we're going to get rid of that asshole. Oh. Oh, my elite gangster is not a Oh, well, I don't want to move him there, then. Shit. All right. What do you do? You're... Okay, are you a ranged attack? Yes, you are. Okay. So, why don't we do that? 
I just kind of roll up. Well, they don't, he doesn't get a charge, though. But even so. Our elite gangster is just a... Uh... Right, we'll come over here and beat on him. Oh yeah. You are not getting away cuz I would say that looked pretty good. All right. Let's uh Produce some more axemen. I'm gonna have to review the tape, but I don't, or the, you know, the footage. But I don't think, I don't think we've lost anybody yet. Maybe we did. I don't know. Uh, we still got two. Okay. Cool. Button ball, the new. Nobody like her. Okay, we got some work to do there. That was a big hit. Okay, we're going to lose that guy. Yeah, okay, we lost. Yeah, we lost the guy that was sitting here. So I think we've lost two so far. Both taking this city. First one went off without a hitch. This one... Not as good. Oh, keep it all for yourself, lady. Go ahead. 
All right. Let's see who we can appoint. Well, I like Mr. Plus 34 in opinion. Okay, I don't care if you're not going to govern the thing. That's fine. Okay, and we don't have anybody. Okay, so we need a statesman somewhere. Well, all right, you're hired. That helped. And then Lady Macbeth or whatever, she's hired. Okay, so that gives us positive relations with everybody except the Hanonids. Do a family marriage here. Do some family gifting. We do... Okay. Uh, tell you what, let's go ahead and infiltrate uh, Rome. Can we? Infiltrate Rome. And No, I don't want to send a trade mission because Okay, so we need to We just need to get you the fuck out of here Okay to make a cross river attack and that just sucks can we oh okay is there I don't even know is there a... yes so you can come over here and do just a little bit of damage now how was that what was that we gonna we gonna yeah we can take it this turn so we're gonna put you here we're going to force march all the way around the army, and then we're going to hit it. That was a spectacular waste of orders, but we took it this turn. So, okay. Let's come here. We're going to crush it. We're going to move you to relative safety. We are the superior power and demand tribute, you dick. I think we should totally end the message with you dick. Yeah, okay. I mean, seriously, he declared war on us. We didn't start it. That was a dick move. We took two of the cities. I would say we're even. But we'll see what he says. And of course, he's going to do the he's going to do do the AI thing of, you know, he'll kill he'll he'll come in and 
cheese his way to killing one or two more of our units, then he'll accept the peace. So uh, when that happens, we won't accept his acceptance of the peace till we kill two or three more of his units, and then we'll okay. Then we'll then we will graciously accept his acceptance of our gracious peace offer or whatever. Yeah. So he running. Can't say I blame him. Run away, little Greek. Run away. Okay. When I am just moving these guys forward because even if we make peace with uh, Egypt and even if or Greece and even if it you know they, they say oh yeah yeah we're gonna pay you you know X number of gold per turn or what, for 40 yeah, we're not gonna we're not gonna be at peace with them for 40 years fuck that we're gonna make peace with them long enough to get a couple more onagers in place and uh, then we're gonna you know, move our heal our guys up get our army organized and ready to rock and roll and then we're gonna attack him again and take the rest of his kingdom but yeah we just we just need a little time to get ourselves organized and put together then we'll then we'll come after him again Besides, I want to be able to infiltrate all of his cities and really, really get into the meat. So we'll see what he said. Then Assyria looking a little upset with us. We'll have to deal with that soon. Not right this second but we'll maybe send them a I think I'm working on a caravan in one of my cities so we'll uh, send them some care uh, maybe send them a trade mission get things back on the up and up with them because I, I want to stay focused on on Egypt I think that's the way they got some good wonders we can take them off their hands uh, we've already beaten the shit out of their army in the field, so yeah, let's just stay on them till they till, and they're still the second place Civ, so yeah, we'll just stay on them, kick their asses. All right, you'll make well, there you go, and they're gonna pay us 94 gold a turn for 48. Well, till we break the peace. All right.
Well, I'm going to stop the stream here, and then next session we will uh, heal up the troops, get the army organized, get a couple more field asses in place. Uh, I love that that is the literal translation of Onager. That's just awesome. Field ass. So, get a couple more of those lined up and in place. And infiltrate every Grecian city that they got. And then we will just wipe them off the map. So that'll be for next time. But I would say... Thank you, sir. I appreciate it very much. It has been a lot of fun. And uh, I would say that we're off to... This is, this is probably going to be another pretty easy double victory here. So I'll catch you guys next time. Probably be sometime tomorrow. We'll hopefully take it to its conclusion. Till then. Bye.